There we go. Okay, let's keep going. Let's play D6, maybe Knight of Six. Why don't I go vegan? I know I like meat. Play A6, I can take. Go here, I guess I'll take. Is it Knight H7 or Knight H5? I think I'm going to play here. Rook B1, strange move. I have F5. Um, don't have B5. I'm gonna go F5 here. If E5, I'll just take. Takes, I just take. Complicated position. Okay, I think B5 makes sense here. Actually, B4 is a good move that I forgot about. Do I take and go Knight G4 or not? Not ideal, but I'll do it. Yeah, Meltwater starts tomorrow, you guys. I have rookie one here. Um, yes, I take. I have bishop, bishop d7, which looks okay, which just takes a knight f6 at some point. Hmm. Go knight g6. Stop eating like a bull. It's so irritating to watch. Stop eating like a bull? What? <laughs> Sorry, what? Come again? I'm gonna just go check her queen f6. Stop eating like a bull. I don't know what that means exactly, but hey. Whatever floats your boat, my man. He goes rook b2, which I think is a mistake. So I think I'm just gonna start to outplay him, maybe. Outplay might be too strong of a word, but it's. He goes back. Hmm. I don't think I have much. I just have to make a draw. Yeah, I just have to make a draw. He plays very fast, by the way, this guy. Stop eating. Sorry. Sorry. Apologies for eating food. Who's C5? Logical move. This is someone pretty good, by the way. I don't know who this is, but this is somebody pretty good. Okay, I have 94 here. Try to trade some pieces.
I mean, a5 is a move here. My instinct says I should just develop my pieces, though. I play rook e1. Now I have a5. I thought maybe I have a5 here at bishop a4. Got rook d6, c4, bishop d4. Go here, bishop a5, maybe. Thought a d4 here, but maybe not. Um, play it because if he takes, I take. If he takes, I take. Take knight c6. So here I want to put a rook on c7, maybe a queen on b7. I don't know who this is, but it's someone very good. You think it's Conrad Holt? Interesting guess. I don't know. Ask him who he's in chat now. Nah. I think I'm doing well here. Okay, take and take. Oh, wait, I missed it. He's queen d7. What am I doing? Oh, that was ridiculous by me. Now I might just be losing. I also had rook c7. Why didn't I go rook c7? Okay, goes queen d7. I think I just go here. <clears throat> Take. I'm trying to really block the knight in here. Could be Zerk as well. Doubtful. Very doubtful. Just take. His knight is awful on, eight, on f6 here. Okay. Go here. All right. Let's play knight. Uh, let's play knight c6 next move. I like my position. Let's go e5, knight e7. He plays really fast, though, which is why I'm a little bit... Suspi no, maybe suspicious is wrong, but why, like, I... I suspected someone very good. Because the way he's playing this is really... Play g... I don't know. I'm going to do it. Maybe it's bad. Let's go here. Takes. Okay, of course I develop. I hit the pawn. I have g4. I don't know what he... H6 actually might be bad because I can laterally support. I know this looks dangerous. Like, very dangerous, potentially, for black. So let's just keep rolling. Yeah, I don't... I don't I don't know. He's playing... The thing is, that, that based on the level of the play, like, the quickness of the moves, I do suspect it's someone very good. I just don't know who exactly, but it's someone who's good. That much I know for, for sure. Play B6, maybe. He castles. Interesting. Go here. I asked him. He said he's Hans. Very funny. I don't think this is Hans. I don't actually have a strong opinion on who this is, to be fair. I guess we'll go here and force a trade. I guess knight b5. I can obviously take at some point. I can also go like bishop f8, maybe. Then rook c1. I'm not thrilled. Um, but the quickness of the moves is why I know it's someone. Oh, you think it could be Wesley? Actually, Wesley is actually... 
I could see this being Wesley. Yeah, I definitely could see this being Wesley. That's a that's a fair point. Okay. I could see this being Wesley. That's 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 legit. I don't think so, but I could see it. Uh, it's not Danya. Over here. If it goes H3, I take take. But I'd say I don't think it's Wesley, though. I just, the, but the quickness, me, I, I will say this. I'm pretty sure it's someone who's 2,600-ish. Around 2,600, give or take. It goes Rook C1. I mean, I can obviously take. I can also go... If I take, what's his move, actually? Well, he's got Bishop F3 and Rook G6, but I have Rook F8. A little bit sketchy the way I played this, but I'll still probably get away with it. Knight c3. That's also a weird move. He wants knight b5, I guess. Go here to hit the bishop. I have knight c4, knight d2, maybe. I think this is okay. Cause I blundered bishop b2. Well, maybe I can just take and go here. Get some pawns. I probably am okay here. Yeah, he goes rook g1. Back to that. Maybe I just go here. Knight of six. I think I'm winning. Not great, but I think it's good enough. It's not Feingold, no. <clears throat> Rook C4. I'm gonna go here. Maybe I want I wanna go F3. Whoa, thank you to um thank you to uh Rajneesh for the 20 gifted. Thank you so much to Rajneesh. Go A6 here. Still very tricky to win this. I mean, what am I doing? Actually, let's go. Let's go in. I want to go Rook D2 here. I don't have F3, F2. I think that's a mistake. Maybe he thought he had. A, maybe he thought he had checked me with Rook C8, but he's. I just go Bishop D8 and I'm winning. Oh, you. You guys think it's Ali Reza? It's not Eric Hansen. Hey, Laura, for the three months. I guess it could be Ali Reza in theory. I don't really know. Seems like an seems like an odd odd guess, but I guess it could be. It could be Zirk. I could see that. True. There are several options that I think it could be, but I don't think it's Wesley. Like the quality of the moves. Like he is getting losing positions. That's what. That's why I don't think it's. Uh, Christopher Yu is an interesting possibility. You're assuming it's American. I don't, I don't, I mean, there's no guarantee it's American. It doesn't say his name on the profile. Actually, what is this? Kind of interesting. So I go here. Um, I guess I'll play Rook D1. I mean, I can obviously trade. Maybe I just go here. <clears throat> Maybe takes. I mean, this is kind of weird what I'm doing. Guess I go. 984. If takes, I have 95. This feels suspect. Suspect the way I've played. The suspect at best. 95. No, I don't. Okay, let's go here. If he takes, I have like 95, 97, maybe. I also have 92 as well. Very tricky. I'll play. Do I want to go to E3 or not? I think I'll go here so I have C4 as well. Oh, did I just hang that? I did, didn't I? No, I don't know if means. I guess I have to go here. Go here, remove the rook. You have 95 here, however. He goes bishop e8, logical move. Um, I think I'll play just knight e2, maybe. Not in love with my position here. Take again. I think I'll just drop back though. I don't really want to play e5, although I do have e5 and c4, maybe. When he can take, I go. I know he had. I knew he had that move, but I just assumed I should have counterplay. Like, 
Maybe let's go here, maybe knight h5. Don't know what I'm doing exactly. Okay, I'm gonna go. I guess I'll go here. It's probably dubious. Maybe knight d2 and knight e4. Queen g3 is a threat as well. It's a little bit sketchy for black. C C4 is hanging. But again, this this could be anybody, you guys. This this could literally be anybody. So just because it says the U.S. flag doesn't mean it's actually an American. It's a strange move. It's actually a very strange move because that just hangs a pawn. Don't understand that move at all. It can't be XQC though. Yeah, I guess that's true. It can't be XQC, right? Okay. Of course. Yeah, it can be anybody but but Felix Longjaw. That's that's probably true. Um, let's go. I feel like I should have tricks here. Wait a second. Not knight d6. Okay, I've got to think. Queen g3, he's got g6. I've got knight d6 there. Okay, I'm just going to go here. I, I don't know if it's right. But I'm going to go here and maybe queen f4. I've got knight f6 tricks, knight f4 tricks. I'm assuming I have enough tricks to survive. I also have knight e8 and knight f6 if he, if he moves the rook off of b8. So it's very complicated. He does take. Wow. Okay. So first of all, I have queen f4. Wait a second. I think he blundered. Queen f4, bishop g5, check. This looks wrong. This looks wrong. Knight e8. Let's go here. And what? He's got this check. It's getting very messy. I might also be wrong here. Takes. I guess I take with a pawn. For the queen. I also have no 98, he just takes takes. I guess I have to pre-move. This is a safe pre-move. Maybe Ray Robson, I guess it could wait, that's I think that's a blunder, isn't it? Yeah, because I take and then I take take. He missed this. Yeah, this this should be winning for me. Um, although it's tricky, it's two pass pawns here, so have to be very careful. It's rookie two. Um, I guess I'll go f4. I have f5. I also have rookie five here. I'll have just check maybe. I thought I could. Oh wait, wait, wait a second. I have enough six maybe. This is close. I'm up on the clock, which is important here. So check. This can't be it. This is just losing. Okay, go up. Yeah, it's just losing. We got another win. Another good win. Let's keep going. I think it's Jordan Van Forest. I guess it could be. I think there are many possibilities for who I'm playing against. I don't know who it is. Conrad Holt doesn't seem right. The the, the, the crispness, the crisp quality of the opening moves feels like someone. It feels to me like it's someone playing. Honestly, it feels like someone playing in uh playing in the tournament tomorrow. To be honest, I'm gonna go C5 here. And actually, I, it feels like it's somebody who just opened an account and they're just they're just trying to get ready for tomorrow. That's what it actually feels like to me. I just don't know who it is, but that, that's really what I, I feel like. That's honestly what I feel like. Jordan Van Force is a little bit slower. That's true. Go here, hit the pawn. I need a four. Okay, I'll just castle him with the queen, maybe. It's not Wesley. I'm, I'm, I'm confident it's not Wesley. Pretty confident. I'm not certain, obviously. I won't say with certainty that it's not Wesley, but... I mean, Wesley, I, it just, I don't know. Wesley, Wesley's better than this guy. Wesley really is just better than this guy. Let's go here, hit the bishop. I mean, I can obviously go C5, but I think 
think I should um I'm gonna play here. Let's see five. I mean, it could also be Criari, to be fair. Like, it, it also feels like it could be Criari. It's Hans, 99%. I don't, I don't think it's Hans. The opening is, the openings are a little bit odd. Openings seem a touch, touch bizarre to me. So I'll take and go here. Hit the Rook. I have Knight B6, maybe. I just really don't think it's Hans. I mean, maybe I'm just insane, but I, I, it just, it doesn't feel like Hans to me. Hans doesn't move this fast. He doesn't play these openings. There, there are many different things that make me think it's not Hans. Criari is actually, I, I, honestly, I feel like Criari is my, I think it is. I, Criari is my first instinct. First instinct is that this is Criari. Let's just go here and Rook D8, maybe. Is Rook D1, okay, we trade the Rooks. Is Criari a GM? Oh, that's true. Actually, you're right. Criari is not a GM. That's a good point. <laughs> He's not. Uh, I guess I'll go here. This is probably wrong. But maybe I can generate some counterplay here. Like, I don't know. Like, oh, this is kind of stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. I do have Rook G7 to swing. Maybe Queen C8 also. Let's go here. I'm trying to get some kind of attack. I go eight. Actually, let's just go H4. Go all in. Hopefully it works. I have H3 check. Yes, I pre I think it's a safe pre-move, maybe. Let's take. I have H3. I also have Queen D7. Go here to go for checkmate. Like knight you one, I take. I mean, this looks very bad for white, objectively. Wait, so I have Queen H3, I can also take. Wait a second, wait a second. Queen H3. And I assume I should take. I'm just gonna go for checkmate. I'm just gonna ignore my entire queen side here. I mean he's got this. Ah, he's got Queen A6, Queen C8, which I didn't see. Mildly annoying. I can obviously check take the rook. Let's let's think for a second. The rook g3 is maybe a move. I take queen c8, king h7. He still doesn't have anything though. Because I'm still just going to take his knight next move. Maybe bishop f4 was better. But this, this should be fine. All right, he goes f4, but that doesn't actually do anything. I just take and take. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's Hans. I don't know who it is. Let's play something unusual. Let's let's do this this old line, knight e5. And d4 and takes. You think it's Grishchuk? Nah, it's, I'm pretty sure it's not Grishchuk. David Howell's a reasonable guess, I suppose. I don't think it's David Howell, but I, I could see it being David Howell, I suppose. Okay, F6, go here. F6 is actually kind of weird. Go here, put pressure on. on. I don't see it, so I'm just going to go here. Okay, he wants king f7. Okay, logical. I can always play f4, but I don't love it. I don't love knight b3, I think. Go here in rookie one. But I just gave him, he's got d4 at the end, which I just forgot about. Takes d4. Very, very poor by me. Okay, I guess I just go back. This isn't what I want to play at all. Okay, he does this, which I'm kind of surprised by. Yeah, I get the blockade. Pawns are kind of stuck here. Black should be fine, but it doesn't feel like I should be like losing or anything. Let's just drop back. Maybe a4 and ip5 is an idea. Go here. H4 is not actually a threat, but I should stop it. Create lift. So is bishop h6 a problem? Maybe. So let's go here. Go here. Go here. Definitely, I need to rotate my knight at some point. And knight b3 is a move. I mean, I see his ideas. He wants to do something here. I sack a pawn. Let's just do it. Knight e2, knight g3, take and take, and I think I'm fine. Mm -hmm. 
Since I won't get to see you for a while, best of luck in Meltwater. Your loyal followers are all rooting for you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Go here, here. Niels Grandilius could be. Yeah, maybe his name is John Cena. This isn't WWE. It's uh, just because it says the United States does not actually mean he's from the United States, to be clear, you guys. Uh, I, I know you guys actually assume that's what it means, but that's not what it means. So let's go here. I'm going to go here, but I'm going to go here to take the pawn. Maybe Knight G3. I still have Rook A5 as well at some point. The Rook A1 actually looks pretty good here. Now I can take and take, and I should be just up a pawn. This one's going to fall as well. Although he does have some tricks here, so I guess I take this way. Because if he gets, like, these double stacks, I have big problems here. I can play rook d4. I don't love it. I can also go rook d2, maybe. Actually, wait. Wait a second. Okay, I guess I have... Oh, my God. I just wanted h4. Very luck. Oh, I maybe I knight 94 is maybe better. Iturizaga, I don't think so, but it could be. I mean, there are many people that it could be. And chess.com HTML, you can see this Magnus, right? Okay, not rook f2. I guess I go. It was very tricky, but I think I'm okay. Because if I take the pawn, my knight gets out. I think he made a mistake, maybe. Okay, wait, I have knight of two. I can also... I think I go... Wait, if I take, he has bishop f7. So I go here. So he takes, and I take, and I think I'm okay. Uh, wait, bishop d5? Wait a second. Okay. If I check, king f6... I taking I go here he missed this yes he resigns keep rolling okay so he keeps playing this uh this um this uh same -ish variation of the king's indian take I guess here, I think f5 is always a move. Now, I know you can take with the bishop, but I think taking with the pawn is correct to control the center square, as I recall. Probably rook b8 and b5 at some point if I can get it in, like here in b5. This is bad. Oh, he's going to get 96 maybe? Okay, let's go... Maybe just here to hit, put pressure on this uh, e-file. Wesley, so on a bad day, maybe, but uh, this isn't Wesley. It's not Wesley. It's not Wesley. I'm pretty confident when I say that. I, there's, I'm almost certain it's not Wesley. Let's see, what's this threat? I'm gonna go here. I don't even. I don't actually know if there's a threat. I always have B5. Uh, let's just go for it. Gets 96, but I have knight f8 at the end, and I assume this square is more important than this square. Wesley after 10 beers, funny. Funny. This rook c1, so he lets me take. But I think knight f8 is the right move, because I gotta I gotta guard against the square. Okay, I have Queen F6, I can also just go like about six maybe to hold this i'm definitely going to trade at some point maybe knight g6 go here and takes maybe or maybe queen e7 was the right move there be careful because g3 is very da dangerous potentially wait let's take bishop d4 is also a problem I also have rook b3 here as well. Go here and hit the bishop. If he takes, I think I take with this rook, and I should just be winning here somehow. 
You think it's Sam? You think it's Sam Shankland? Oh, you think it's Sam? That's an interesting. That's an interesting thought. You think it's Sam? I wonder. That's actually a very interesting thought. I think it's Sam. Hmm. Could be. I. I don't think so. But it's a very interesting thought. So which way do I take? Is the question. I can obviously just take here. I can also take here. Wait, if I take queen f4, queen d5, I'm just winning. Yeah, it's just winning. F3 is super weak and it's GG's. Nah, it's, it's not Sam. Drunk Sam? I, I mean, I doubt it. Thank you, Dingus PhD. Thank you to Carcfish. Thank you, PVB for the 32. Erica T as well. Thank you so much. Okay, Night G6 looks clean. 96 looks clean too. Although Night G6 looks much clean. Oh, then Night G5. H8. Queen E5 also. Uh, Queen E5 allows Knight G5. Wait a second. I know I'm winning. I just have to find the right idea. Knight E6, Queen G3 could be a problem. Why am I thinking so long here? I think this is right, though. If check, I just take and block. Back, I go f4. I also have rook g8 too, I just realized. So I should be winning. Queen c7, I can block with rook e7. Queen a4 doesn't really concern me, I don't think. I'm just going to go here. If rook d1, I have bishop d4. Okay, now rook f3 is like begging to be played and I think I will gladly do it. I assume that I'm winning no matter what he does. Hey, Adam Dougal for the four, Gustiav for the three, Aqua for the prime. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Hey, UGM for the for the three months as well. Thank you so much. Am I okay? Yeah, I'm doing very well. Yeah, I don't really know who this is though. Kind of interesting. Pretty sure this is Boston, Mike. No, I'm pretty sure it's not. So let's go here in 92 knight of three he does play unusual openings i've noticed so very very unusual it's actually very similar to what we just had so let's go rookie one do i go h3 or do i go h4 i'm gonna play h3 i don't know if it makes a difference b5 i'm not super concerned i'm gonna consolidate my chain maybe queen f3 I have a four at some moment, maybe. It goes bishop d7. Now that, however, looks like a very strange move that I don't really approve of. Uh, I think I'll go knight f3 and maybe queen d3. Maybe rook e3 next move. Look on his profile, it's not minlay. Queen b6 is... Can I sack something here, maybe? I feel like there should be some sacrifice. Wait, takes, takes, check. I don't see it though, so I might as well just be. Well, he actually can't take the pawn, so he can't take rook b1. I'm gonna go h4 here. G4, knight d2, and if he takes, I go rook b1. And I assume he's not surviving this. Maybe he is, but I assume he isn't. So he probably. It was rook g8. Okay, logical move. Go here. Maybe queen d2, knight c1, knight d3. I also have knight c5 maybe at some point. So let's go here. Take away this idea for him. Keep telling me it's to reveal his identity if you if you don't. <laughs> okay. And knight d3 looks completely reasonable. I play a4 here. I don't love it. So I'm just going to go here, trade, and then like... Oh, it goes queen g6. Queen six. I go here and take. Not in love with this position, but I should be fine. How does just? I mean, it could be Mishra. Yeah, I could see it being Mishra. I mean, you never know. I mean, there are many. I was actually thinking about that a second ago too. Like, if it's someone like Mishra, I mean, but that that wouldn't shock me either. 
just really a matter of who who can it really be if you if you run through the possibilities i'm gonna go i don't know if g3 is right probably not go here clearly it's me i'm playing on my anonymous account right exactly you guys let's go i guess here maybe hit the rook okay let's go here i'm gonna start to open up i assume his king is weaker than mine objectively my king should be safer so it should be fine I'll obviously trade if i want i can also just go here for now put pressure on this on now i'm gonna take i'm gonna go rook here rook b4 shape probably i'm gonna go c4 try to open this up a little bit here I really do like my position this game. I think it goes here or here. First of all, I have rook c7, which is dangerous. Um, not that I will play it. I think this actually is very problematic too. It's not Fabiano, no. I don't know who it is. I, I actually have no idea. E8, okay, I just take the juicer. I have rook a7. Looking very, very pleasant for me not cleanly winning but up a lot of time just ask him yes just ask of course it's so uh, so easy right just ask uh i guess i'll go here force the rooks off the board now nah, it's not levy and it's not ali reza that much i'm pretty sure of now i can play queen c5 i can also not play queen c5 oh wait he has check and take wait a second Oh, maybe I go here and rook b7 and try to mate him. I guess I'll go here to trade the queens now. I'm running a little bit low on time. I'll go here. That was a big mistake. Oh my god, did I just throw? There we go. Fuck me. Let's keep going. Another win. Okay, let's go C5. I guess I'll the knight C6. What a play. Yeah, sometimes you got lucky. Not good, but it worked. Sometimes you got lucky. Oh, was there a bet? Do we hit before our opponent hits what? Oh, I didn't even know there was a bet on that. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Wowzers. Wowzers, yowzers. So A6, I guess. A4, maybe B6. Maybe C4, too. Okay, I get my big center here. I mean, I assume I'm very happy. Rookie 8, pressure on E3. I still maybe go b3 it plays the e4 so i'll put pressure on the e pawn oh uh, that's just a i think my opponent's tilting a little bit now because now i just win the pawn i'm 7 and 0 on the road to adoption okay obviously play knight c3 here which is good i can also drop back um there's about five i mean the thing is is knight c3 good it's probably pretty solid and stable but i feel like i should have better yeah i feel like i should have better so let's go back and hit the pawn on d5 here and just like bishop b7 is knights out out to lunch on the rim is jacques and hagar yeah it's not wesley so no there's zero chances wesley 
But I think it's I think it's someone in the tournament tomorrow. I don't know who it is, but I think it's someone in the tournament. That's what I would say. It goes bishop c4, so I'll just take. I mean, this looks terrible though, because now I can even go back and like bishop d7. Go here, hit the knight. All right, let's keep going. Oh, let's do something else. Let's play something different. H3 and just like B3. I mean, this is supposed to be pretty stable for white. Maybe you can take and play knight f4 at some point. This is one line. Knight d5 is also an option. I think I was supposed to go knight f4 right away. So here, queen e2. This might not be right, but I know this is supposed to be reasonable. Thank you to Braino for the prime. Thanks so much to Braino. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Okay, I think rook d1 makes sense here. Always have knight d5. I always have rook a c1. Also have knight d5 here. I think I'm going to go here, though. Why not? If b4, knight d5 looks good. c4, I can just trade. Oh, wait, but I misplayed this very slightly. This... Huh. So let's go back. I hate when I misplay things very slightly. Yeah. True story. This is not Magnus. Might be for a lot. Very logical move, though. Doesn't actually threaten anything, but. I takes, takes, takes bishop g7. Let's go here. Takes, I think I have bishop e3. If takes, I have rook d5, I assume. It's obviously Narodinsky. No, it's not, it's not Danny either. Queen a3 is a very good move, though. I don't really have a strong opinion on who this is. Problem is it's trending towards a draw. That's the problem. He's also got e6, which I forgot about. But maybe I've checked. King J is kind of a strange move to me. I'll go here to target the pawns. Go here. I feel like I'm better here. I'm not really sure why, but I think I should be better with these weak pawns. Whether I can win or not is a whole different question. But he keeps thinking too long, then, then, I, then I'm going to end up winning this. Guy's not in the top 100 feet. I'm not sure about that. I think this is someone who's 26 plus. I just don't know how high. It's not Felix Long, Joe. Okay, F6 also looks like a bad move to me optically. In C3, C4, though, I have no way to win. Maybe I just tickle him. I feel like I should have some. Uh, why can't I figure this out? Maybe E4? Let's just go E4. Trying to open up something here. It goes King G7. That's definitely not the best move. I'm just going to play E5. Keep attacking him here in the center. Also looks wrong. Here, I want to go rook d6 and hit the pawn. I 
think I'm close to winning now. Let's go here. Maybe hit the bishop. Go here and queen f6, and he's just getting absolutely crushed. Queen f3. Wait, that's actually a very resourceful move. I didn't even see that. Wait, no, I can just take and take. Never mind. Just wins. There we go. That's nine up. Here maybe b5, maybe just knight f6. Plays rookie one. I assume knight f6 still remains best. He's trying to go g3, I guess, is his idea. This could be someone like Andrew Tang, actually. It just occurred to me. Could be someone like Andrew. I doubt it, but it could be. We play g4. Uh, that's kind of annoying. I have to go here in rookie seven. I'm not happy with this position. He found this G4 move, which was very good. Very strong thematic move. King was born in 99. Yeah, but the opening reminds me of Andrew a lot. Andrew always would play these sorts of openings. Okay, Bishop three. I can always play B4 here. I actually think I should play it, oddly. I can sidestep here with king h8. I think I should. Point behind b4 is that he can no longer put the bishop on this diagonal with like a maneuver like b4 to remove the pawn and then create this huge diagonal. I feel like I should be fine here somehow. I guess I'll go here and maybe rook a1. Did I just give him knight b2? Well, rook a2 may be complicated. Queen c2. That's a strange move. Go here to hit the bishop. Ah, uh, he wants bishop b2 this way. Oh, I just forgot he could do this. Oh, that's just lovely. Now I'm probably losing. Oh, that's just so stupid of me. Oh, that's extremely stupid of me. How did I allow this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go here. Can I still go here? Okay, I'm gonna sack, of course. I have to sack. No, I just, I'm losing. I just threw so hard in this game. Let's go here. Ugh, very frustrating. It goes there, which is actually wrong. But he's giving me some chances here. I've got, I'm getting my knights to better squares now. Wait a second. I should have some play here. I just have to be careful how I do this. Play knight d5. Can I also move my bishop maybe? Let's go here. Maybe bishop f7. Of course, I have to move my king out. Bishop b5 maybe? I'm basically trying to set up something here like bishop f7. Kind of not lost here. I'm maybe okay actually. There's 93. Okay, so if I take his 95, I check and take. First of all, I can take f3. Take, let's take. Very tricky position. Um, he has no king moves. G4. Play knight h5, knight h3. This will go here. So here I have bishop d4, of course. Very tricky. I'll go here, maybe knight g. Okay, go here. 
Yes, he Oh no, we I blundered. Oh no. I thought I was winning. Oh, I just threw. Okay, maybe I can still salvage this somehow. I thought he just hung the rook. Oh my god, that was so bad. Go here. Okay, but I'm still in the game. I still have a chance to flag, maybe. I can definitely draw this. Wow, 10 up, 10 down, 10 and a half, half. We get the adoption. Wow. Insane. Insane.